from Orchard Forest School. Hope you're keeping well. Today I'm going to show you how to turn a glass jar into a pot that will look very natural using sticks that you can collect along your way. Um, and you'll be able to use it for your desk to keep pens in or for makeup brushes or anything you like or paint brushes. So what you're going to need is some double sided sellotape or some PVA glue or I've got a glue gun here. Um, because I'm at home, I'm, I'm uh, privileged to have a bit of electric because as you know, in Orchard Forest School, we haven't got electric. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is find some twigs and cut them to a length that is right to the top of the jar. So I um, pruned a bit of apple tree in the orchard yesterday. So I brought some bits of twigs home with me. So you're gonna have to remove all the um, leaves and any knobbly bits and this will be probably an adult's job unless you've got older children because you're going to need to use secateurs. Um, so once your twig is all clear like that then you can measure it and it's just rough it's just it's, it doesn't have to be perfect and then cut it to the top of the jar so you'll see that that's just to the top of the jar. You can do it to what length you want, so you could go higher or lower. So then what you're gonna need to do is with your glue gun or your PVA glue or your double-sided sellotape, is do little bits at a time, and I've just made two lines, and you just simply stick on your twigs close together and so that they start at the bottom and then they reach the top. And what you can see is I've left enough space for the glass to sit nicely, the glass jar to sit nicely on the table there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue taking all the twigs that I've cut all the way around the jar and then I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so once you've done that and completed the whole of the jar, it would look something like that. And like I said, just remember to keep the twigs above the base of the jar so that it can sit sturdily down on a, on a worktop. So once you've done got to that stage, the next thing is you can decorate it. Now if you've got some ribbon, then that'll be nice, but I'm just gonna keep it really natural looking and I'm going to wrap it a few times with some string and that will look as though that that is what's holding it together rather than the glue I've used. Now, if you are using PVA glue, it can become a little bit slippery, so you might need a couple of pairs of hands just to help secure the sticks while you're fixing the other ones on and then quickly tie them together using your string or ribbon. And there we have it. A lovely little pot that you can put pens in or paint brushes, whatever you've got to hand and it can make a nice gift as well. The key thing is to use sticks that are straight, so the straighter the better. Obviously, if they're gonna be wobbly ones, it's no good. And make sure that you cut off all the little knobbly bits as well. And of course, you can do it on a tin can, so if you haven't got a glass jar to hand, you can do it on a tin can as well. So you can have a little collection of little paint pots and pots to put your pens in, which look really nice and natural. So go and have a go, go foraging for sticks, stay safe, see you soon, bye!